Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily tweak your colors in Photoshop using this huge saturation adjustment layer. Alright, uh, let's say I want to change color of this gemstone. To do that, I choose hue saturation adjustment layer. You can also do it by simply click on this icon and choose hue saturation. Alright, in this drop menu I choose cyans because I can clearly see that this gemstone contains a lot of cyan. So uh, next I just drag uh, this slider to choose desired color. Let's leave it on the green side. Alright. As you can see, uh, I've changed not only color of gemstone but also other areas which contains cyan. Let's say uh, this top part, uh, this side parts, and even my shooting surface now has some uh, green tint. Alright. On second example, I want to recolor these two gems uh, to make them look like this one. Alright, again I create new hue saturation layer, choose science, and drag this slider to find desired hue. I think it will be somewhere here. I'm gonna tweak my saturation a bit, maybe make it a bit lighter, like that. Alright, if you don't know uh, what color you have to choose, uh, let's say for this gemstone, uh, you can click on this icon and then Photoshop will show you uh, which color contains certain area. Alright, and now I can see that uh, this gemstone contains some yellow hue. Alright, and I tweak my hue slider like this. You can uh, clarify selected uh, selected color by moving these sliders. As you can see this part uh, has some other hue than yellow so again I'm gonna tweak it. It's kinda expand this selection. Alright, uh, if you realize that uh, your manipulations with color affect the background or some other areas, you can create a group for these two layers and put a mask on it, then just grab brush and paint over desired areas like this. It's not supposed to be pretty accurate mask because, as you already know, uh, we affect only on certain parts. Here it is. Pretty simple. So let's move next. Uh, at first look, this image doesn't have problem with color, but in my opinion, these uh, white marks have some color cast. So to make sure that this is true I grab my I grab color center tool. Here it is. And click somewhere on the mark. Alright. At the info panel uh, I see that marks are more on the green and blue sides. You can clearly see it. Right. Uh, to fix that I create hue saturation layer click on this icon and then click on desired area which I want to change and move my pen to the left. To make sure that I choose I chose correct hue I bring saturation up to 100 so by moving these sliders I can clarify this selection. Alright I back the slider to minus 100 again and now you can clearly see the difference before and after. And numbers in RGB channels also tells me that now this area doesn't contain any color 
suspicious. It's it's completely neutral area. All right. I uh, hope uh, you realize that hue saturation layer is pretty powerful instrument, and you can dramatically change your shots uh, with this tool. So guys, uh, if you have some other ways of using hue saturation adjustment layer, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for new episodes.